on a previous presentation, I was referring to selling out. And I explained how I sold out that uh, I had an opportunity just to, to continue to stand up for what had been given to me as being the righteous move to make. And though it uh, interfered with my marriage, I had an obligation to truth, if I were going to speak for truth, to stand my ground, to stay out there on that state capitol, raise as much heavenly hell as I possibly could until you, the American people, benefited from it or I was killed. No, 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 no if and ands about it. But like most people, I chose to go home and speak out, maybe convert people. You know, we all do that. The preachers do it. They don't do what God tells them to do. They go out there and talk, thinking that they're going to get somebody else to go do what God needs to have done, that they're going to get somebody else to be God, to be God's Rosa Park. So they talk, they talk, they talk. You know, they aren't courageous like uh, brothers of yesterday who, who were called, like Michael Shawarna down in Mississippi and James Cheney. You know the three boys that were murdered down there. Andrew Goodman and Viola Luozzo from uh, Detroit. These people committed themselves. They, they were sold out. They stood up for what was right, and they ended up being murdered because of their commitment to it. But not me. I said I'd go back out and talk. I talk like the people on television. I talk like the commentators. I talk like those who analyze what's going on. I talk like the specialists. I talk like the professionals. I talk like the politicians that do nothing. I talk like those who were moving around in the movement under some great men of yesterday. But after those men were killed, nothing else happened. And I'm included in that. See, this is what we call selling out. Now, I said all of this to say that all of us have sold out. We might not be the baddest as we have seen people be. We might not be that bad. But somewhere down on that list of failures and badness, we all exist on it. We don't, we don't find ourselves listed on that list of liberators. No, no. That little stuff that we do that we are permitted to do under the system of evil to keep us... Um, side foot. It's not, it doesn't even measure. To be real means to be real. It's like coming on the scene. To be born again is like this, ladies and gentlemen. Everything changes. You might have been thinking at one time about your own gender, and that's all. You might have been on thinking about just your race, and that's all. Or your nation, and that's all. But to be born again means that you know that all of us are one. All of us are spiritual living and walking with the spirit of the living God in us, whether we know it or not. And that living God is in bondage when we are walking dictate to that which brings us the needs and wants and desires of our heart, being expressed through our imagination, allowing us who have various gifts to engage ourselves in the process and that whole unit thing. And so here we find ourselves given that challenge. And once you're born again, that's what you know. And all that other stuff, you see it for what it is. And it is a no. It is a no. It's like uh, the Minnesota Vikings and uh, let's say the Eagles. Now, when they get ready to play, it's no this and that. No, nah, no. Nah. It's no. Each team is saying no. And each team believe they got to go. Each team is saying no to the other. And each team believe they got to go. No, so righteousness is saying no to all of that that caused pain and suffering and and, 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 and causing people to lie and to cheat and to steal and calling people to be racist and haters and bigots and nationalists. All of that stuff is a sidetrack from the truth. But it all exists trying to destroy the truth. Now, we see this stuff, all this ugliness, we see it. But why don't we see evidence of that standing against that? The reason we don't see it is because it doesn't exist. We got talking. We talk. We talk. I talk. I tell y'all what works. But that's talk. That's talk. Your preacher talk. Your politicians talk. And sometimes they do anything. It doesn't work for no one but one or two. So it's all junk. <clears throat> Everything that is not righteous <clears throat> that would allow us to live as though we're in heaven is junk. See, that's me talking. How can I back that up? I can back that up. 
Hmm. There are so many things that I could do, that I can say. But since I asked that question, what can I do to back up what I'm just saying? What can I do? I've just got through bringing a message about selling out. <clears throat> and I have said that we all have sold out. Now, what can I do that would indicate not just to myself, but to all observers? And I'm not doing it for sure, but I'm doing it because it's right. Oh, I do it because it's right. What can I do to give evidence of that step being made positive forward in the sense and spirit for which I have been speaking? That's a very deep one. So I'm not going to speak off the cuff on that one, ladies and gentlemen. There's too much that's going on in my head about certain things. So I'm going to make that my next message. Well, in, in continuation of selling out, how I'm getting back on the track. Selling out, I'm getting back on the track. That's the mission. Next message. Thank you for now.